All right, we we'll start to listen up by saying, Kala Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone of good will. Shalom to your brothers that are preaching and teaching the truth worldwide. And I want to say Shalom to the whole and your brother Kaya coming back with another lesson. Today's lesson is dealing with repentance or repent. So, just a simple um, you know, Google definition for repentance. It reads, the action of repenting sincere regret or remorse. Each person who turns to the Most High in genuine repentance and faith will be saved. Now, you saw going off on that because all the people that can actually, they can repent. It's, it's, he trying to make it seem like generalized, like a catch-all, you know, eat a mic. You know, they turn to the Lord. <laughs> Then they can be saved. No, repentance is only open to to the Israelites, and and and, and all honestly, only the, the one third are gonna come back because that's how the Lord wrote it out. Two thirds, they're not gonna be in that re, that true repentance, uh, spirit, remorse, having sincere regret, because according to you know plantation Christianity, they already gave their life to Jesus Christ and they saved. They good, so. <clears throat> Some of the similar words are remorse, uh, penitence, sorrow, regret, shame. Yeah, the average um, so-called black person—they're not shame. Here it is: they make they they willingly make number one hit songs. Often they make reference to future. He made his he has a hit song talking about adultery. I fuck your bitch. Uh, um, Gucci flip flops. So, they're not, he's not ashamed of that. He turned around, made money off of, off of uh, committing adultery. Uh, they don't have guilt. They don't have self reproach. Uh, um, but sorriness. Nope. They don't have none of that. So, right here, I like this meaning right here. What is the true meaning of repentance? It is the act of leaving what the Most High has prohibited. Prohibited, basically, what, what, what the Lord. Prohibit us to do. Basically, we had law, statute, commandments. When we went outside of those, that was breaking the laws. So we had law, statute, commandments to keep, and we were pro pro basically prohibited from breaking them. And if we broke them, what happens when you do stuff that's prohibited? Like the, the laws of this land saying, um, like you prohibited the going into certain, um, what do you call it? Like certain certain areas, like like certain places of like a work area, it may be off limits, prohibited. Well, commit indulgence, that's that's prohibited. But when you break them, guess what? There are consequences and repercussions for breaking those laws. And what was it? The curses. <clears throat> so right here, what is the true meaning of repentance? It is the act of leaving what the Most High has prohibited, and what and returning to what. He has commanded. That's right. The word denotes the act of being repentant for one's misdeeds, <coughs> atoning for those misdeeds, and having a strong determination to forsake those misdeeds, i.e. having remorse, resolution, and repentance. So that's ultimately what repentance is, having remorse. Here it is. You find out. Especially first coming to the truth, you find out you're not supposed to eat pork. You're not supposed to, you know, um, <clears throat> eat, you know, certain um, seafood. You're not supposed to eat, um, of course, you know, swine, pork, and different abominations. So you find that out. What do you do? Throw it away. That's having what? So that, that's 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 having basically you're in a repentance um, spirit. You you like sorrowful, like man, I was going off for eating that. Find out you're not supposed to get lined up. These are easy things that, that you can do that it doesn't, it's not hard at all. And then you go to your barber, say, hey, just, you know, just give me a haircut. Uh, no line up. You're good. You, you, you'll be all right, Jay. You'll still be able to, you know, pull women. But that's all. That's the only reason why Jay getting his line up is, is for the woman. At the end of the day, that's what he's doing it for. But Jay don't understand that they actually the prize, not the woman. 
But this Queen of Heaven spirit, they they flipped it. They have it as if the woman is surprised. Well, actually, the man, the Israelite man, is the actual prize. So right here, <clears throat> just get some, you know, pull up the word repent. I'm going to start right here in Jeremiah 18, verse uh, 18. If that, if, <coughs> if that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, talking about the Israelite, that's the nation we're referring to, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. What do we have to do? If that nation, the nation of Israel, against whom I have pronounced turn from the evil so we had to turn from my evil then the Lord will basically take away uh, um, uh, the judgment that he had pronounced uh, on our people <clears throat> but we know <laughs> let's actually go into this Jeremiah 18 let's go Uh, all right, I'm going to start Jeremiah 18, verse 5. Proving it is talking about the nation of Israel. Jeremiah 18, verse 5. Then the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, O house of Israel. So, so this is who they're talking about. Can cannot I do with you as this potter? Say for Yahweh, behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in mine hand, O house of Israel. At what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it. If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. And at what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to build and to plant it. If it do evil in my sight. That it obey not my voice, then I will repent of the good wherewith I said I would benefit them. Now, therefore, go to speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus said Yahweh, Behold, I frame evil against you and devise a device against you. Return ye now, everyone from his evil way, and make your ways and your doings. Good. But what did our people say? And they said, there is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices and we will everyone do the imagination of his evil heart. So people didn't have a repentant spirit. So what happened? Evil came from him. Jason. Hold on, man. Jason, they're going. It's wild. <laughs> Chair my 18 verse 12. And they said, there is no hope, but we will walk at our own devices. They're going to do what the fuck they want to do. That's how people today. <clears throat> They're walking after their own devices. Self-made millionaire. Got it from the mud. All these different black sands. Ten toes down. They want to walk after their own devices. So guess what? Lord going to destroy you because you don't want to repent. You don't want to have that repentant spirit, that remorseful spirit. So guess what? The Lord going to put you down. Let's get right here. Let's go on this Ezekiel 14. Let's see. Let's read up. I'm going to start from the top. <clears throat> Ezekiel 14. <clears throat> Ooh, man, back spasms. <clears throat> then came certain of the elders of Israel unto me and sat before me. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their heart and put the stumbling block of their iniquity before their face. Should I be inquired of at, of at all by them? Therefore speak unto them and say unto them, Thus said the Lord of power, Every man of the house of Israel that set up idols in his heart and put a stumbling block 
of his iniquity before his face and coming to the prophet. I have will answer him that cometh according to the multitude of his idols, that I may take the house of Israel in their own heart, because they are all estranged from me through their idols. So we're estranged. We, you know, we were estranged from the heaven father because we set up those different idols in our heart, which is our mind. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus said the Lord power, repent. <coughs> turn back, Jake. And turn yourselves from your idols. Turn away from white Jesus, Buddha, Allah, and turn away your faces from all your abomination for every one of the house of Israel or of the stranger <coughs> that's adjoining in Israel which separated himself from me and set up his idols in his heart and put it the stomach block in his iniquity or slot of his iniquity before his face and coming to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me, I how will answer him by myself, and I will set my face against that man and will make him a sign and a proverb, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. So the Lord was telling us and turn away from, from them idols. <coughs> Just like today, the Lord has a prophet out there in the highways and hedges telling a lot of people to turn away from those idols, turn away from white Jesus, turn away from um, that plantation Christianity, but they don't. They're talking about that their, their argument is, this is, you know, basically this is how I grew up. This is what my, my grandma taught me. My mom taught, taught me. So basically it's just generational, uh, basically lies have been talking to, have, they have been taught to our people. And now that the Lord has the truth out there, going in, you know, Via the prophets breaking the scriptures down, giving their proper understanding of John three sixteen, let our people know that hey, for God's love of the world, that world is talking about the world of Israel. You so called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos. It's not talking about the whole entire world as an uh, or community state. Nope, what's going on? <clears throat> Get this. Acts 17, verse 30. In the times of this ignorance, the Most High winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. This all men everywhere, some of the Israelites. And as it said, in the times of this ignorance, the Most High winked at. So there was a time where the Most High winked at our ignorance. Well, especially during the time of slavery, before brothers and sisters, you know, came to the truth, before the apostles learned the truth, the Lord was, was winking out our ignorance. Why? Because we didn't know the truth. So, yeah, you know, our, our great grandparents is praying to white Jesus. The Lord was winking at that. But now, hey, they ain't winking at white Jesus. People are praying to that. Still, they, they dying from that now. The Lord ain't winking at that. The, the, the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah are. are out there, the correct understanding what the Heavenly Father name is, and what His only begotten Son name is. So it's no excuse. The Lord ain't winking at it now. And the times of this ignorance that was, yeah, think about when this was written. This wasn't, you know, during the time, you know, when apostles on the scene they knew, uh, your how and your how shall name. So when when was this supposed to take place? Especially during time of a child of slavery, when you know Esau Edom beat beat the Israelite out of us and gave us this name. So yeah, the Lord, you know, he winked at the ignorance during that time frame, but not now. Nope. No excuses. I'm gonna finish out with this on Ecclesiastes. <clears throat> I think it's 17. Bam. Ecclesiastes of Sirach 17, verse 24. But unto them that repent, the Israelite, he granted them return and confident those that fail uh, in patience. So here it is. But unto them that repent, he granted them return. So, hey, I'm got to get 25. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Uh, it's the key. We not we can't keep 
all the laws, statute, commandments, every single one of them. But what does scripture say? Offend less. That means all the all the laws, statute, commandments that you can keep, keep them all to the best of your ability. But do what? Offend less. There's no reason why you should be going to Wendy's and ordering a, a Baconator. <laughs> There's no reason why you should be having sex with another man's woman. No excuse. So the Lord said, offend less. At the, <coughs> at the return, offend less. So, A, hey, so Lord willing, this lesson edifies the next time, shall I warm? And a bobble bobble. <coughs> <coughs>